think you should be Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Killer B, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you all the tips and tricks that you can use to make some great money when selling cars by using the vehicle cargo system. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as I would really appreciate that. And also be sure that you don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more game videos. Now enough about that, let's start off by explaining on how you can make money with selling cars. For this you will first need an office, if you don't know how to get one I will leave a link down below in the description for you on how you can buy yourself an office. Now the reason why you need an office is that from here you will be able to buy yourself a vehicle warehouse. For this you want to walk over to the computer on your desk and once you're logged in you will see three options on your screen. We have the special cargo which you can learn about in the same video as the office buy. We have the vehicle cargo which we are going to use and the special vehicle work which I won't be explaining about at the moment. Now once you have gotten yourself a warehouse you will get an overview of all your deliveries, the current capacity of the warehouse and the earnings you have made with it. But before we can talk about all that we of course first need ourselves to store up our cars. Now in contrast to crate cargo warehouses, the vehicle warehouses all have the same capacity and that is that they can all hold up to 40 vehicles. Now these prices differ from 1.5 million to 2.7 million dollars. Just like the case with the MC businesses is that you're paying for the location of the warehouse. Nothing more. Now you don't need a lot to think about when you buy this warehouse like names or staff, no. The only thing you have to do is pick a warehouse and select your interior. That's all. You can keep it basic when you buy it or change it to urban style or more decently branded style. I like urban style for this warehouse but that's my taste. Now I will show you in a few moments how your warehouse will look like when you have bought it and the best way to make a way over to it is by stealing a car and drive to it. Now to steal a vehicle all you have to do is go to the vehicle cargo menu and select source vehicle. This will start a mission to receive the car. Now a little advice when you do these missions is to do these with a fast car that you own. This can be any car you like, like the T20, the Osiris, the X80, anyone you want, just be sure that you own it. The reason for this is because in some missions you have to race with a certain time limit or chase a fast car. So you have to be sure that you will be able to keep up with that car or clear the race in time. Now I just received the car and these missions can be in any form. It can be that you just pick up the car. It can also be with the races I just told you. It can be that you have a time bomb in the car and you have to keep up speed to prevent it from blowing up but also missions where you have to pick up the car by cargo bot. Also keep in mind that you will pay the repair cost for the damage that you made when receiving the car and bring it to the warehouse. Now that I've told you a bit about how you can steal the car, I think it's time I showed you the vehicle warehouse and how it looked like inside. Now enjoy the small tour and you will hear me in a few seconds.
this warehouse is more than just storage for the cars that you stole. It will also come with a special garage for the cars that came in the import export DLC. Now these vehicles can be lowered in price when you buy them by doing the special vehicle work missions that you can select when you're at your office. Now I went out to test something and that was to see if these vehicles can be stored in any garage and the answer is no, you cannot. These vehicles can only be stored in a garage in your vehicle warehouse. Now this means that if you want any of these cars you are obligated to buy yourself this 2 million dollar warehouse and on top of that buy yourself a 4 million dollar car. Now I talked quite a bit about these cars but I can understand that some of you may think hey which cars are we talking about here? For those people I will put them on screen right now for you so that you can see about which cars we are talking here. But enough about the garage, let's talk about the topic why most of you guys click this video and that is making money by selling these cars. Let's head over to our laptop to get a better view on how this works. Now when you log in, you will come at the main page which will display all the cars that are currently staying in your garage. You can sell up to 4 cars at a time depending on how many people you are going to sell them. Now we have 3 types of cars, these are top range cars, mid range and standard range. Now I will come back in a second about the difference with these three. Now if you want to sell a car, simply press the export on the car and then export again on the green bar. Now instead of telling you, it might be better to just show you this. So here we are at the main page. Uh, now I select the car that I want to sell and this would normally be any car you want. But let's take it a step further in this example. I will go press the collection button at the top right of the screen. Now I will explain about collections later in this video but for now all we have to know is that these are all the cars that I own and they are all collections except for this one over here, the Rosenfeld failure. Now. Just keep in mind that I have all the different cars you can own and that the Roosevelt is the only one that isn't a collection. Alright? So keep that in mind, we are selling the Roosevelt here. Keep it in mind, we'll come back later on it, just remember it. Okay. Now when you press export you will get three options. For a simple explanation, let's say the more you pay to start the mission, the more profit you will get when you sold the car. This is because when you start this mission you will be marked red on the map for all players and they will try to kill you. And hard to say, but when your car is destroyed, well, that's just unfortunate for you. So the repair cost, the retrieve mission and the money you paid in advance, it is all for nothing and you have to start all over again. Luckily this rarely happens, at least to me, so I would always go for the highest amount since it would be a waste to go for such a small profit. Now after you chose which car you are going to deliver, you will get the following screen in which you must adjust a few parts of the car. Now it doesn't matter if you make this car like your dream car or you make the car chrome with pink and green. It will not raise the price for which you are going to sell it and also you will sell this car so you won't customize this car for yourself but just for one mission. Now keep things simple, I want to advise you to do the same thing as I do in this video. Just press any option you have in each selection screen to change your car and move on to the next. It doesn't matter how the car looks, so just skip this part for yourself and go start the mission. Now these missions can only be done in public sessions. This is because it won't bring any risk for you when you deliver it in a private match. Now when you are solo in a public session, they will always be spawning NPCs to cause damage to your car and so decrease the profit that you will make on this car. You can choose to either shoot them or outride them. However note that when you try to outride them, they will spawn over and over again until you are at the delivery point. When you want to take them out, that they are always note that there will always be spawning 2 enemies 4 times. So when you killed 8 cars or 16 enemies you can be sure that no enemies will spawn in. Now this all won't matter if you are in a public session with at least one other person. As the NPCs won't spawn in in this case. Also note that you must be careful with your time since you only have 15 minutes. Now once you are at the delivery point you will receive the money for delivering the car. Now remember when I said it was really important to remember that we are selling a Roosevelt failure. Now this is a quick reminder from me to you about that. 
I will tell you in a few minutes an awesome trick that will rapidly increase the rate in which you can make money with these cars. I will come back on this in a few minutes. First I'm gonna be telling you, giving you a little time lapse on screen while I'm telling you a few interesting facts about your vehicle warehouse. Now fact one is that you must be a CEO in order to do this. You can do this while you're an MC president as that you, you must be that when you're doing your MC businesses. Fact 2 is that in contrast to the cargo warehouse, you can only have one vehicle warehouse instead of five. Fact 3 is that also in contrast to the cargo warehouse, your vehicle warehouse will never be robbed or attacked by NPCs. Now you guys may also be interested in the amounts you make for standard, mid and top range cars. For these people I will put them on screen right now. Now this is the total profit for each range car. So the cost for beginning the mission is subducted and also calculated that there was no damage when retrieving the car or delivering it. Now for this trick I want to show you. What if I told you guys that there was a way for you to manipulate which car you are gonna get and also the range car. For this you don't have to do much really. All you have to do is fill the warehouse with 78% with cars and there should be one car you don't have. This will be the car that you get when you start the next mission. Now some little proof, as I repeated multiple times, we just sell a Roosevelt Favors, so this is the only car that isn't in my garage. Now, I start a new mission, and bang! We got ourselves a Roosevelt Favors top range car for us to retrieve and deliver to our warehouse. Now to prove that this wasn't added, I'm going to show you some footage that we are going to retrieve the car. Now a few tips and tricks for this method is that you should always go for a top range car. Pretty logic, we want to make our money as fast as possible and with this we got with each sale guaranteed a top range car. Now also make sure that you don't go over a 81% filled warehouse. When you pass this you will get cars double that are already standing there and so we can manipulate which cars we are going to get. Now if you are at 78% and you don't know which car you have to retrieve, simply check uh, the car's collection list on the computer in your vehicle warehouse and check which car you are missing. Now by doing this you can also check if you are missing a top range car, a middle range, a standard range and that can save you a lot of money. Now once you pick up the car all you have to do is return it to the warehouse and sell it again. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about with you guys and that is making money by selling collection vehicles. Now what are collection vehicles? Collection vehicles are special vehicles that are part of a collection. When you sell a full collection with your team you will get a nice bonus of 20,000 with 2 cars, 35,000 with 3 cars and 50,000 with 4 cars. Now each car has 3 variants. So let's take a Z-Type, we have a blue one, a green one, and well, let's say a gold one. I'm just saying something. Now these also have an own license plate. Here I can see that the Z-Type with big money is part of a collection, so this is the car that I want. Now note that you can sell these collections alone. You will always need people depending on how many cars you are gonna sell and they all must be part of your business and be present at your warehouse. So let's say for two cars you will need two people, for three cars you will need three people and for a four set car you will need four people. It's as simple as that. You will always need people, you will always need friends for that, otherwise you have to sell alone. Basically like that. Now I hear you guys say, oh this is awesome, this goes so fast, I'm gonna make 80,000 with every 5 minutes. Well, I have to say, this is a good method to make money. It's one of my favorites. But it doesn't go that fast. Know that when selling one car, you will have to wait 20 minutes to sell the next. For two cars, you have to wait 30 minutes. Three cars, it's 40 minutes. And for four cars, you have a 15 minute cooldown time. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank my friend Lars and Jesse for helping me deliver these cars. Thanks a bunch guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new as I would really appreciate that. If you got any questions, be sure to leave them down below so that I may help you further. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.
Take care.